very small, huh? You're looking at uh, your line cubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a great. Uh, it's a great. There you go. Everybody, we've got uh, lion cubs and the possibility of a pride. <laughs> Who says lions can't climb trees? Now, who would look for a lion up a tree, guys? Look how high he is. Mm, he's gone right up to the top there. Oopsie, it's a long way down, Dad. Play on that stump. Yeah, we've got some cheetahs. We'll call this the big cat diaries. Leopard lion cheetah. Look at that, disappears when it lies down in the grass. The other thing about cheetahs is they have very good eyesight over distance. They can see for many, many miles. They're quite young still. The one in the middle that's sitting up just looks like he's got the end of a little mane. Can you see that? On his shoulders, the top of his shoulders. Yeah. You can, you can notice that the cheetahs are always aware. Can you see how they're looking around? They will, they will constantly be monitoring what goes on. And The two younger ones. They're hunting, eh? We're going to follow them. <laughs> The lead one has seen something and they are really looking for something. Let's just hope it's near the road. It's time. The animals will be going down to the dam to drink. Okay. They're going to walk up top there to have a look. Definitely walk up top. On top of a termitarium just to get a better look at what's going on. And then the brothers you're getting you're getting close at the moment to 0.5 percent of the entire cheetah population of the cruiser how's that
Okay, so it's a Kokoi Franklin. And look at the head, it's like a coppery color. Do you see that? So you reckon the vultures found that elephant, eh? <laughs> the vultures that you see, the cape vultures with tags, yellow tags, on the patagium. It's, the, it's called the patagium bone, patagial tag, right? Those vultures were all, there were, there were 15 of them, and they were poisoned by a farmer. Um, who had put poison in a cow that they fed on and they were rescued and saved and left back into the wild and so it's in, because this is a, that white vulture that you see the Cape Griffiths is a very rare vulture very endangered that's a called a leopard faced vulture and that's your can opener. Okay, now he wasn't required anymore because remember the tusks were hacked out of this elephant carcass. The uh, um, uh, section ranger came and hacked out the tusks. They'll chase the vultures and try and get some meat. But it's lion that I really would like to see come here and scavenge with this. Enjoy this, guys, because this is real. This is real Africa for you, huh? Now that's a that over there is called a white-headed vulture, a hooded vulture. Sorry, and a hooded vulture. The very small vultures are the ones that um, get into the marrow of the bones. So each vulture has a, a position here, a hierarchical position. It's just unbelievable, the scene. The scene is fantastic. The one on the top now is called a Cape Vulture or Cape Griffiths. No, the one at the back on the right, no. <laughs> Here comes the way, the full cycle now, eh? Yeah. From life to, from dust to dust. Because oh, this okay. elephant will not last long. And now do you realize why I said if vultures come in, they could finish this in two days? Yeah. Mm. 